Okay, so the purpose of this video today is to show you how to take your Mudbox file, your Mudbox landscape, and import it into Maya. There's three ways of doing this. Each has its validity. Now, I know that Mudbox has been crashing when you try to export as an FBX file. So uh, I'll show you how to export as an FBX file, but these are some alternative methods just in case. The most simple method to export your item out of Mudbox and into Maya is to simply go to File, Send to Maya, Send Selected as a New Scene. Uh, it's going to ask you a question. You send the message at current level. That It's going to make sure that when it brings it in, it brings it smooth instead of as a rough uh, model. So that takes a minute. Now I am in Mudbox 2014 and Maya 2014. On many of the computers, Mudbox 2013 is installed and not my, Mudbox 2014. If that's the case, when you get the Maya, the Maya file created, so for instance, it's opening Maya right now, and I'm in Maya 2014. Yours will open in Maya 2013. When it opens, it might take a minute, especially if you have a lot of divisions like I do. In fact, I don't know. I might even have Maya crash on me. We'll wait and see what happens here in a second. It looks like it's crashed. It is reading the information. Um, it, you may want to be careful about um, how you bring in your, uh, how many divisions you have when you bring it into Maya. Just because if there's too many divisions, you're going to run into the issue that I'm having right now, which is that it doesn't want to send. It says, okay, so it's still thinking over in here. There we go. All right, so there's my mesh. That's the easy way. Done and done. There's not, there's not much else to it other than that. Uh, now, again, if you are using Mud, Maya 2014 and Mudbox 2013, the Mudbox 2013 will only send to Maya 2013. So if it opens up in Maya 2013, you simply go File, Save Scene As, give, it, give the scene a name. In this case, case, I would call it something like Maya 2013 Landscape. Then, uh, then I can simply open up Maya 2014 and go File, Import, and import the, the, the newly created Maya 2013 landscape. That's one way to do it. Uh, that's probably the easiest way um, and the way that, that everything's going to come across. Now, if for whatever reason you hit Send to Maya and it doesn't work, you can try exporting this file out of Mudbox as an FBX file. An FBX file is a file that is recognized by many uh, 3D application programs, including Maya and Mudbox. So you, so you go to your Select and Move tools, you select your mesh, and you go File, Export, Selection. It's going to open up a Finder window. In the Finder window, you're going to select Autodesk FBX. You're going to give it a name. I'm going to call this Land. You're going to give it a location. I like putting mine uh, in my project folder. That way, if I keep everything together, I won't have any issues. So I'm going to go to Desktop, Brown Roger Temple 1A, Scenes. I'm going to dump my land in there. And you can see that I've already done this once. But uh, I call this one land, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. And when I do that, when it, if it crashes, then you know it didn't work. If it doesn't crash, then you're good to go. Then you can simply come in to your project folder. Mine is Brown Roger Temple 1A. Go to Scenes, and it's the land.fbx. I can either right click and hit Open with and uh, navigate to Maya, or my preferred method is to open up Maya, and My, uh, my Maya is taking a minute to initialize. It's interesting. And in Maya, go File, Import, navigate to the FBX file, which is in on my desktop, in my project folder, in my scenes folder, and it's called land.fbx. When I import that in, it's going to take a minute, but hopefully it'll come in and it looks to me like that was successful. So now comes the hardest way of doing this, but 
the way the way that will work if the Centamaya and the FBX fails, and that is to go File, Export Selection, export it as an OBJ. Uh, so I'm going to call this one Land, and it, uh, actually I'll call it Land Two just to avoid confusion. Uh, I'll save it in my Scenes folder one more time, my uh, Project folder, Scenes folder, save it, and now back into Maya. We have, uh, we go file, import, land2, which is the obj file, and we import it in. Now you're going to notice that the issue on this is now I have no texture. That's why the obj makes it a little bit more difficult. So I have to go back into Mudbox, go to file, export all paint layers, navigate to a location where I can save the file, which right now it's saving in my scenes folder, which is perfect. So, and hit export. That's going to export a, a TIFF or a PNG or a JPEG, just depending on what your settings are. I go to my Hypershade hierarchy. If I have in my hierarchy a folder called default material, uh, that would be the FBX, and I can import that in. Um, instead, I can, I'm just going to pick a new Lambert. I'm going to double click it. It's going to open up my channels box. In my channels box, instead of clicking on color, I'm going to click on this little uh, icon next to it. I'm going to click on file when that opens. Click on folder. I realize this is kind of a pain, uh, but it's how it works. Navigate to your project folder. Navigate to the scenes, which is where I saved my diffused layer one, which is right there, and hit open. Now I can right click and assign material to selection. And if all is done correctly, I should have a nice landscape. One additional problem you may run into, if I double click on Lambert 2, there is occasionally when you, when you reapply a texture, it brings in a transparency. Luckily this time it didn't. Um, but to avoid the transparency, what you do is you right click and you hit break connection. And when you break the connection, it'll get rid of the transparency. And that's it. So three different methods of getting a Mudbox file into Maya. Method one, send to Maya, save the Maya folder, and then import it into Maya 2014. Uh, method number two is to, create, uh, to export using an FBX. Method number three is to export using an OBJ. If you use the OBJ, you do have to export an additional texture with it, uh, and then reassign that texture later. Between one of those three things, you should be able to get a, a decent, your, get your landscape in and ready to go. Then all you have to do is import your temple, which mine is not in my scenes folder, oddly enough, but I think if I find it in documents, I can go to <coughs> temple day three, import that in, and if everything is done correctly, it brought in my building, brought them in under my landscape, so I can just move my landscape in, move it up, try to position it well. That's good enough for now. Uh, what you're going to notice that you may, when you bring stuff in, it may be floating a little bit. For instance, I have this floating just on top of the landscape. A simple uh, use of the Sculpt Geometry tool found in the Polygons tab is going to remedy that situation. Uh, this is the Sculpt Geometry tool. If I double click it, it's going to open up some brush settings for me over here in my tool settings. Or not. There we go. In my tool settings, I can increase my brush. I can make it go push in or pull out. In this case, I want it to pull out. And I just simply sculpt. And ideally, with a little bit of patience and a little bit of effort, you can get that to save. This looks terrible, so I'm going to push that down just a little bit more. And uh, I'm going to call that one good. Uh, takes a little bit of time and work at it, but when you do that, then you'll have your landscape in.